Yep. They're finally doing it. I can't believe this is finally happening. After two and a half years, after a particular unit's Zenkai, this unit is finally getting a Zenkai. It, it, oh my goodness. All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. It's finally happening. This is one unit that I've been saying should have gotten a Zenkai years ago. I don't understand why this unit hasn't gotten a Zenkai up until this very moment, but it's finally happening. The next Zenkai unit we'll be getting access to in the game is none other than the Yellow Perfect Cell. And OGs of Legends, y'all know this unit. Y'all know how stupidly powerful this unit was. Now, to be fair, even though this unit was powerful when he released, it's a completely different ball game now. Legends is in an entirely different state than it was two and a half years ago. Now, why do I keep on bringing up two and a half years ago? It's because two and a half years ago, we got Zenkai Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan, who dominated the meta for over a year. That unit was devastatingly powerful. But we also know that now, Zenkais aren't anywhere near as powerful as that. Like, nowhere close. We, we do have some good Zenkais, right? Primarily when it comes down to LF units, but none of them are anywhere close to being as powerful as Gohan was back then. So, I'm just hoping that they do this unit right, because he honestly does deserve it. But anyway, apart from all that, though, let's break down what the tweet says. So, it says, Perfect Cell's Zenkai Awakening is coming. On special arts hit, draw a strike arts, nullify special cover changes for five counts and more. Unlock all uniques to boost cell support and offense, such as plus one special cover change under certain party conditions. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good thing, right? Because as you guys know, this perfect cell has cover rescue, right? But the thing is, if I recall correctly, he only had one cover rescue. And it wasn't until after he released that we started getting some units that had access to two of them. Like, for example, the green uh, Zenkai Ultimate Gohan. And uh, I think even uh, the green Good 21 also has two cover rescues. But this cell only had one. So adding an extra one on top of that is really, really good. Actually, uh, now that I think about it, I, I think it's probably going to be akin to Zenkai Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the LF unit because originally he also had one, but when he, if, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure when he got his Zenkai, if you pair him up with GT units, he gets another. So they could probably do the same thing with Cell. Is it a really good ability? Absolutely, because Cover Rescue completely gets you out of the way of any attack. But the downside is we are in a meta where Cover Change Nullification is darn near standard on a ton of units like a lot of them prime example and also which would be this cell's massive downfall would be ultra vegeto blue i would argue that as of right now ultra vegeto blue is the best character in the entire game people can argue goku and frieza i can understand that as well right but i think it's safe to say that bare minimum ultra vegeto blue is at least one of the best units in the game like top three guaranteed so seeing that this unit is a yellow unit he is at a massive disadvantage right now again this zenkai should have happened years ago so for him to get one now they either got to make this unit stupidly powerful and give him multiple ways of nullifying element factor or he's probably just going to be a bench unit for Kid Buu. Because, again, you know, like, if his Zenkai is yellow and regen, that's Kid Buu. So, well, you know, to boost uh, Kid Buu. But, um, I, I, I don't know. It just, I want to have my hopes up for this Zenkai. But to say that it feels like too little too late is an understatement. Because, actually, if this Zenkai released when Kid Buu released, like Ultra Kid Buu, that would have been a better opportunity for him to shine because again worst case scenario he's a bench unit and you know kid boo will be able to utilize him not saying kid boo can't now 
but we have a dominant red unit like extraordinarily dominant the only scenario that this unit would have decent play in or at least as of right now and again this is just my opinion is if you're up against goku and frieza that's what i would say and the thing is he would be effective against goku but the moment frieza goes in he's probably gonna be in trouble because frieza lands like i mean from what i've experienced he lands a lot of crits you know special move hits hard obviously so this unit is in a very very weird spot now based on his abilities you know from the details that they told us on twitter again being able to get a strike arts card like force drawing it when you use your special skill is nice hopefully you'll be able to get like some uh, extra key with that as well um being able to nullify cover change is always a good thing uh that's something that they've been adding to a lot of uh units as of late when they get zenkai's i believe uh what the last one to get an ability like that was ui sign goku i believe um because i don't remember if trunks got anything like that but again uh cover change nullification that's fantastic uh it's 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 not bad it's just, it feels like it's just too little too late. Again, I really hope that this Zenkai is good because I don't want this Zenkai to be something that's dead on arrival. And not only that, you can try to throw him on a team with yellow units, but there's no real way they're going to shine. Like, case in point, throughout the fifth anniversary, we got a solid few yellow units right i mean obviously primary ones would be uh gamma one and two the lf unit and of course jiren now before vegeto released those two units got a lot of play a lot of play especially jiren and then even um going a bit before the anniversary we also had ultra kid boo and again he also got a lot of play now that ultra vegeto blue is out i have only seen like for again my own personal experience i have only fought gamma one and two once and they got annihilated by vegeto not only that i remember i was fighting um i believe it was a future team and i was up against um trunks and vegeta and they got wiped out effortlessly it's i, I just i don't know man it's it, it's i'm happy that this unit is getting a zenkai I'm worried that this Zenkai is not going to amount to much, but to be fair, we don't have all the details on what this cell is capable of doing now that he's getting a Zenkai. So for all we know, he could be absolutely insane. But based on the track record of Zenkai units that are not LF units, you know, they haven't been too good. I mean, actually, um, I, I think I skipped a Zenkai and it was Android 17 because uh he also got a zenkai during the fifth anniversary and it felt too little too late because i think his zenkai should have happened around the time that 18 got hers so this is kind of similar to you know that scenario where this unit should have got it when gohan got his or like maybe a few months after heck even a year after would have been fine but i don't know but all in all though i am still excited to see what the cell is capable of i really am not sure how well he's going to perform but I could end up being surprised, who knows? But I do wanna know in the comment section below, are you guys excited that this cell is finally getting a Zenkai? Or are you skeptical about him getting a Zenkai now that we have a dominant red unit in the meta? Again, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Indukuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.